Hi guys, I'm makeup artist Alan Avendano and I'm with Allure to talk about some of my favorite looks that I've created on Camila Cabello. We did her signature cat liner. I took some black eyeshadow and I smudged it over the ends of the cat eye and kind of pulled it in into the crease of her eye. It went from, oh, classic movie star to a little bit more of like a sexy, stronger kind of woman. To get this look, you gotta draw in your cat liner first. So don't worry too much about making sure whether it's the points are straight or even. Use a pencil brush and dip it in some black eyeshadow and just smudge out the corners and into the crease. It takes the pressure off of perfecting that liner. And to bring out that sort of shape a little further, only do outer corner lashes. It was such a departure from everything we do. She never wears a red lip. We just played off of her navy blue dress. Nothing works better with navy than red, so we used In Matuated With You lip liner from L'Oreal, and I filled in her entire lip with it. And then on top of that, we used Devil's Matte Vacate Red, and it just created such a rich, matte, bold lip that you could see from miles away. The reason I filled in her entire lip with lip liner is to help the color stay put and also to help it be more opaque. What I find is that even if the top layer comes off of your lipstick, you'll always have that base color of your lip liner. She was doing a meet and greet with a bunch of her fans. Japan is known for the Harajuku girls and just really, really fun look. So we used a teal green um, eyeliner from L'Oreal. We just simply rimmed the bottom lash line with it and that was it. Makeup companies are creating so much stuff with color and you don't have to go crazy and try to use every color. Just find a color that, you, that really resonates with you and that you really love. For New Year's Rock and Eve, we did something that we don't do very often and that she's glitter. She's not much of a glitter person, but I gotta tell you, it really just made this look, I think, because her whole outfit was just bedazzled. And so, you know, you couldn't leave the face unbedazzled. So we gave her her cat eye, smudged that all out with black shadow into the crease, um, and then used a little silver kind of three quarters of the way in, and I knew it was gonna stay all night without any problems. We really wanted her to look a little bit grungy. We really went for something that wouldn't matter if it was like smudgy. It actually was really smudgy and she cried in the video and I kind of I think it all just kind of lent itself to the look. To create the greasy eye, we used Elizabeth Arden's eight hour cream, just black shadow and then I just went in there and just smudged it all out. Camila's a very natural girl. She loves to just look like herself and so it was definitely a character based look. She was very passionate about performing at this event. And so we did the liner, we smudged it out with black eyeshadow in the corners and then kind of gradiated to like a silver in the center. It just makes it a little bit more special, a little sexier. I would call it a power eye. So she just wanted something powerful on the eyes to connect with the audience and basically get her message across with her performance. We really went outside of what she normally does. We really tried to make her more of a Victoria's Secret model type of girl. It was just a very stylized look. You see more bronze tones, gave her a lot more highlights, combed the brow. We also gave her that sort of nude lip that is still bombshelly, but just kind of, it lets you focus more on the skin and on the eyes. Her body was like laced with just golden shimmer. I mean, she looked like a golden statue. She was wearing a Vivian Westwood gown that was red and immediately I just thought, wow, she looks like such an old Hollywood movie star. So I took references from old Sophia Loren photos and we really worked together to just create something super classic and timeless. The liner was really a key part of this look and we applied it a different way than the usual cat eye swoop. We started a really thin line in the inner corner and as we got to the ends, it got thicker, but we didn't swoop up the cat eye. I had her close her eyes and I drew a straight line almost towards her ear so that when she opened it, it would elongate the eye the way that Sophia Loren did back in the day. 
Hers wasn't a very happy cat eye, it was a very sexy cat eye going straight out. If you notice too, she didn't have too much glow on her skin. I feel like all the strobing and crazy contouring wasn't done back in the day and we wanted to keep it true to that kind of time period. It just became one of my favorite looks ever. Her performance was based on gentlemen prefer blondes, so immediately I thought, well, Marilyn Monroe. And a lot of people don't notice that Marilyn Monroe, actually, when you look at all her photos, she has this like double winged liner, and it's so subtle. We kind of just mimic that. I think the double winged liner was a trick that Marilyn and her makeup artist used to elongate the eye, and I think that's what sets it apart from just a normal makeup look and, and what makes it sexy. Her skin was definitely glowy for this, so we gave her highlights all over her skin with just a liquid highlighter, and I buffed it in with a beauty blender and all the high points of her face. I chose a liquid highlighter because I feel like it looks a little bit more subtle, much more natural on the skin than a powder highlighter. Her brows were bold again, but this time I didn't fill it in. I actually just used a brow mascara that kind of made it fuller and it also kept it in shape. I was gearing her makeup towards her performance and it was just a really sexy number with all these Latin dancers and I really wanted her to stand out. So I made her eyes sultry, but not in the usual way we would do a defined cat eye. We did a very smudged cat eye by smudging it with a pencil brush. On the center and inner corners of her eye, I used a very white shimmery powder. It gave her eyes a twinkle and it also pulled in the white from her outfit. And so I think that's what made it really special. We wanted to give her a smoky eye, but her outfit was white and had splotches of color on it. So to pull that in, I used a forest green to kind of buff out the darkness of a smoky eye. I did her signature cat eye, and then we pulled that forest green into the outer corners and kind of smudged that out a little bit and went into the crease. It just made it a little bit more special than a usual you know, black smoky eye. So Camila performed on the Today Show and it was a very important performance to her. Um, she was wearing a off-white jumpsuit. It was just such like a boss look. We loved it so much. So we wanted to give her some power behind her eyes. So we gave her signature cat eye and we used shadows that were a little bit more into the range of like the reddish brown. Not only does it like warm up the eye a little bit, but it also brought out green flecks in her eye. You know, she has like light brown eyes. So it was just a really pretty look. I think uh, it helped the focus be on her eye without being too overpowering. For the Wango Tango look, it was such a burst for her. She was performing with Machine Gun Kelly and her stylist had pulled a bomber jacket that had these rhinestones all over. And again, with the bling, like I can't leave the bling off of the face. You have to have a little bit. So her cat liner was still there. Her signature cat eye is important. But we added something special by adding a liner to the bottom lash line. We met it with the top liner. And in that space in between there, we added just a hint of glitter so that every time she would blink or wink or do anything, you could see this little twinkle on the sides of her eyes. It was really special. And obviously we added glitter to the center and inner corners of her lid. It was sort of like a white iridescent sort of glitter and it just pulled the whole look together. Everything was kind of subtle. Even the glitter wasn't overpowering. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something and it was just really fun sharing all my favorite looks with Camila. My philosophy with makeup is very similar to Camila's. It's about enhancing your beauty, but also there's no rules. Do whatever makes you feel good and just have fun. You can always take it off.